Hey, Quaman, how's the fish biting? With its teeth? But not today. Why is that? Quaman be not certain. The fish always bite before, but then Quaman be having lure. Now no lure, just bait. What do you need to make a lure? Quaman can make lure with just anything, as long as it be colorful and not get heavy in water. You're a real DIY guy, don't you know? Always be something wrong with Quaman. That was actually a compliment. Oh. Are you happy now, Quaman? Quaman be happy. He be wanting fish to bite. But if they do not, Quaman still be happy. Can I borrow your fishing rod? Quaman must catch fish first, so he can eat. After Quaman catch fish, April can borrow fishing rod. Happy fishing! Thank you. Could this wrapper work as a lure? Yes. Yes, with some work. It'd be perfect for a lure. Now Quaman can make one, and hopefully catch many fish. Hello, Quaman. Hello, April. Happy fishing. Thank you. You're not working on your lunar cannon now. Because of that infernal noise is why. But Quaman has moved back to the Orlowal village. He's not going to disturb you again, trust me. Really? How the heck did that happen? Nah, I don't care. The important thing is we can work again. Thanks, lady. How's it going? Almost there. Oh, uh, one tiny little problem, though. And that is? We don't have a bowstring for our, uh, uh... Propulsion drive mechanism, Wick. Uh, what he said, uh, yeah, we need a bowstring. Uh, something strong and flexible and sinewy. Like what? I don't know, lady. I'm no engineer. I'm just a supervisor. String made from animal guts would be perfect. Yeah, but look at us. Do we look like the kind of stick men who'd make good hunters? Do you see me going after a gank beast carrying what? A comb? A dry leaf sharpened to a razor edge? I'd be happy to talk to you later, but I got some fine tuning to do before I'm done. Can't talk. Busy.
Did my lore work okay? It'd be working very good. Quaman catch a large, tasty fish very quickly. April be wanting a taste? Uh, no. No offense. I'm just not too fond of seafood. This not be seafood. It be human food. What's Quaman gonna be doing now? Quaman be sitting here until the sun sets. Then he be going to sleep. And tomorrow? Quaman be deciding that when he wakes up in the morning. Man, you got relaxing down to a fine art. Kwama not be knowing anything about fine art. He be a Philistine. I'll see you later, Kwaman. So will I. Goodbye. Looks like Kwaman just had himself a solid lunch. That was quick. There were only bones left of his catch. It's Kwaman's fishing rod. I don't figure I'll be needing the rod anytime soon, but I'll borrow the line. The remains of Quammon's catch, and a very convenient shape it is, if I may say so. Like a hook. It's a deep well with cold, brackish water and some seriously demented albino fish. Can you use this as bowstring for your, uh, lunar cannon? Let me see that. Oh yeah, that gonna work good. All right, listen up. I got us what we need. And now we finish this damn cannon. Go to work, people. Give us a few minutes, lady, and we'll be all done. It worked, you wood-brained fool! I built it! Yup, the cannon is done. I feel like sleeping for a year or two. Hey, all done. And Wick did absolutely nothing. As usual, aside from shouting a lot and kicking mine and Woody's arse. Are you done? Yes, ma'am. The lunar cannon is now ready to be tested. Well? Well what? Are you gonna do it? Do what? Test the cannon. Me? And get myself killed? I think not. But go ahead, be my guest. I don't think I'll fit in there. That ain't my problem. I'll just place the hook along the bowstring, like so and let the rope trail behind it. Okay, we're ready to fire. Can I test the cannon? Be my guest.
There's a slight updraft here. The wind has channeled through that chasm down there and blown out and up here. Can you help me across? You are human, and we don't allow human strangers into our village. If you wish to trade, let us know where your ship is anchored and we will send traders to you with our merchandise. I don't have a ship, and I didn't come here to trade. I came to talk to your leaders. I'm sorry, but we don't allow strangers into our village. Actually, I am a trader. Where is your ship anchored? In... um... Coconut Grove? There is no Coconut Grove on Elias. So, I'm not a traitor, but I am a friend of the Elation people. We don't know you. There is no friendship between strangers, human. Don't your people have a prophecy about a stranger who comes without a ship? Or something like that? I don't know of any prophecies, human. What kind of prophecies do you know about? We don't tell our stories to strangers. What's up this road? The Alation village of Tamar. Where's the Alation village of Tamar? Up this road and into the volcano. Isn't it dangerous to live inside a volcano? This volcano has not erupted for thousands of years, and the gods protect us. We are safe here. Is there another way to get into the volcano? No. This pass is the only way. I'm sure there's a secret cave somewhere that leads into the volcano. No, there isn't. There's always a secret cave. Not here. Are you absolutely sure there's no secret cave? Human, you talk too much, even for an elation. Thank you. Yes, but you must leave now. I think I'm gonna throw up. That was so not appetizing. Weirdest thing, though. I do feel lighter. Like I lost 90 pounds. I can't even imagine what people would pay for this stuff back home. Whoa, I'm flying! Not. I guess I still weigh too much to be carried on that slight updraft. I'll save it for when I really need it. That's the last of it, unfortunately. Ah! Human, you flew across the chasm. You don't have wings, but still, you fly like the elation. Believe me, I'm as shocked as you are. Are you the Windbringer? What's the Windbringer? It's a prophecy amongst my people. Of course, there's no escaping the prophecies. It's said that someone not of the Elation shall come among us to float on the wind like an Elation, to learn our stories, to bring the wind back to us, and to bring us into a new and happier age. Is that all? You know, I'm starting to forget how simple my life used to be. Family, friends, grades, boys, no prophecies, nobody looking to me for salvation. I don't understand, Windbringer. You should speak with our teller up in the city. She'll be wanting to see you, I'm sure. We've waited for the Windbringer for a very long time. The teller? Thanks. No, Windbringer. Thank you.